now we'll go to our third thing that is static website hosting let's say i want to host my website so static website is nothing but depends you have a content which is static it is not going to change let's say if you consider any training so training syllabus i if i change something i am going to change directly in the web page but i am going to change my uh, syllabus very rarely right so every six months once or every one year i am going to update because as per the new update comes right so this static website is nothing but if you want to display any static content constant data by using some pages then you have to deploy those pages in the s3 uh, in s3 we have a something called static website hosting so we can host these static pages in that s3 bucket how to host this s3 bucket on the uh, sorry static pages on the s3 bucket i am going to show you now so for that friends go come here go to services click on s3 okay let's create a new bucket for this uh, for this static website hosting okay how to create the bucket just click on create bucket so here you need to give the bucket name i can say cloud fund static website okay so in mumbai i am creating i want to allow all public access just allow public access you have to acknowledge it because you are allowing public to read the data and write the data into this file uh, this bucket so you have to acknowledge it then click create bucket so once i have created the bucket i will just go into that bucket where is that bucket which i have created static website go inside this bucket okay so if so if you see properties friends okay we have a something called static website hosting click on that static website hosting okay so i want to use the constant pages so by default page that is expecting is index.html okay another page is error.html so when to use ht uh, when htm index.html will be called when error.html will be called is first it will try to check for index.html page if it finds index.html page then it will display as it is if the index.html page is not find the bucket then it will go and check for the error.html if these two files are not available then it will throw error okay so that's why we should have to have a at least one page or we can have a two pages these are static pages friends html static pages okay so i am just giving index.html error.html just click save now you have enabled you have deployed the index.html error.html pages okay it's nothing but a static website you have hosted so but you don't have any static files in your bucket you have to upload the static files for that i need to prepare the static files so let's prepare the static file here i can say welcome to cloud pandit okay cloud pandit online okay training so i will just say cloud pandit online training this particular file i will save it as a html okay how to save it as html just to check it here you can say it's a index dot html okay in the same way click new new file this is uh, we did not find the find the index dot html okay so this is the page this is the content i want to put it in the error dot html page so this is error dot html okay so this is basically all types error dot html click save okay fine now i have to upload to click upload click add files come to desktop you can see error, error and index click open click upload before you upload come to next okay i want what i wanted to do i want to grant the public access for these two files grant public read access to these objects yes i want to give the public access click upload public access means you remember friends when i click on this page okay when i access this url it is displaying the data why it is displaying data because i made it as a public if you keep them as a private you will not be able to see that content you will not be able to see that content okay now go to properties in the same bucket so you have a static website you have hosted oh sorry not this friends okay 
uh, just you have to be in the bucket level because static website we have we have deployed in the bucket right Shit, I came back. so static website click on this okay uh, just to click on properties uh, click on this static website hosting so here you will have a link just to try to access this link so what it is saying friends welcome to cloud pandit online trainings it is saying welcome to cloud pandit online trainings so what it means our static page we are able to access suppose i am just sharing this link to all of you can you try to access everybody everybody is able to see this uh, this content or not please check it friends quickly everybody has to check and confirm our chat window friends please do it Yeah, able to see, right? Okay, so able to see. Devashish, can you confirm our audio? You are able to see? Yes, we are able to see. I am able to see. Yeah, everybody, no. other people, yes. can you confirm our audio, friend? Madhav, Pritish. Yeah, I am able to see. Okay, yes. so meaning this is a website, friend. We have deployed website, so content you are putting in index.html, you will be able to see here whenever you access this data. So what I can do, all my training syllabus, I can keep it in, in that index page and I can host it. So whoever is able to access this page, they can able to check all the syllabus which I am giving, right? So that's how I can host the static website. Now, let's say index.html, if this file is not found, it will go into error.html, it will say, Okay, whatever content we put it in the error.html. Now you see, come to overview. Let me delete this index.html. So just to delete it, click delete. Okay, now you come back. Now everybody try to access the same URL, friends. What is saying? We, we did not find the index.html. Why it is saying? Because it will now it will go to error.html because it did not find the index.html page. It will go and it will display data which is there in the error.html. What is the content we are maintaining in error.html? We are saying we did not find the index.html. This is the error message we are maintaining in the error.html page. So that's why we are able to see this content. Okay. So this is how you can deploy your static websites, friends. Static websites. Dynamic websites means dynamic web applications means if you see Gmail. When you request for uh, gmail.com, it will ask your username and password and whatever you, your username and password you are entering, dynamically it will read those things and it will check with the database whether credentials are correct or not. Then it will uh, display the home page depends on your authentication details. If your authentication is successful, then it will display home page. Otherwise, it will not display home page. Okay. So, but static website, it will simply whoever is able to access this page, they can able to see all the content. Okay, there is no permissions and all, but if you want to control those things, you can control it here. Okay, that we are going to see tomorrow. Okay, clear on this. Yes, sir. 